as we give ourselves permission to to take a step back and to play puzzles and to you know hang out with the dogs, um, there are these constant stressors that come in you know, that that still lays in the back of my head and, and keeps me up at night. Um, mm -hmm. so, so on Sunday, you all sent out this email just to chat with administrator, jump on a call with Dean Sue, and that was incredibly therapeutic in a way, um, mm -hmm. and to see familiar names and, and names I can connect with. Um, so if I'm a if I am stressful, re re mm -hmm. regardless of the, the reason um, behind those stress, how, how can Duke help me? I think, um, I think a lot of it is to think that those, those same supports that were here when you were here on campus continue to be here, right? So, um, so different, that, that's, that's a mentor, that's an advisor, that's someone you know from, you know, either from your department or from a campus organization that you're really connected to. Um, I think that those those resources remain. I you know I think since we have done this um, recording, uh, since the last time we did it, we have launched Blue Devil Cares, um, and we've seen a terrific uptake. It's been up. It's been on since April first, um, and in the first week, we saw um, students from all over the all over the U.S. accessing it and sort of working through that. And that's been helpful. I think the wait time has been five minutes, um, and then the, the talk time has been typically about 28 minutes. So I think thinking about that as an additional resource, Blue Devil Cares. Um, and then I think one of the other partnerships with the Alumni Association and sort of um, is thinking about, we're, we're thinking too about how do we create community where people are. Even if you can't be with people, it might still be sort of valuable to kind of create sort of outreach and networks um, relatively locally, you know, depending on where you are in the world right now. Um, Linda, one of the things that you and I have talked about and I want to sort of give special mention to is the challenge for students who are in a very different time zone right now, right? And so I think one of the things when thinking about sort of these networks, could we do a network for students that are on the Pacific, you know, you know, Pacific Rim time zones? Could we do different things for students that are, um, you know, that are just di different places in the world than on the East Coast? I think that's one of our, our challenges going forward is to create those opportunities at the right times for people.